the ocean, essential for human survival, holds more than 80% of the Earth's biological resources. Scientists in the field of futurology view the 21st century as an era of ocean economy. How to responsibly and effectively utilize this vast blue area has become a subject for the Najat District to explore in the comprehensive deepening of reform and opening up. Nancha District is home to Guangzhou's only seaport, and its location has always been very important. So this is the geographic center of the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, right? Yes, and this is Nansha Port. Mm -hmm. uh, to the south is the South China Sea. To the east is Shenzhen. So Nansha is located, from what I understand, in a small bay between Hong Kong and Macau, uh, at the mouth of the Pearl River Delta, right? Exactly. And this place is very rich in ocean resources, with nearly 340 square kilometers of ocean, okay. including 11 islands. So Josh, do you know that this year marks the 45th anniversary of China's reform and opening mm -hmm. up policy? Actually, yeah, I know quite a bit about the reform and opening process because of my work and my studies. Oh, it's brought some amazing benefits to China, and Guangdong is where it started. You're right. 45 years later, Guangzhou is writing a new chapter to this incredible story. Nansha Port is a new generation smart port with the most advanced functions worldwide. It primarily serves as a container terminal for logistics and transportation. But in recent years, some new types of shipbuilding projects have begun to take shape in the waters around the port. Liao, a university graduate majoring in naval architecture, fulfilled his childhood dream when he joined Nansha Port after graduation. However, he never imagined that as he grew older, he would be involved in the construction of such enormous vessels. This offshore behemoth is six stories high and the size of six basketball courts. In fact, it is not a ship. It is an aquaculture platform that can turn ocean into farmland and maximize the advantages of sea farming. This 养殖的这个抗海风啊就这里面还有一些智能系统的控制一些显示屏啊一些水箱摄像头啊一些配置就可以通过水下监控以传统的那些以前的那些养殖系统啊就是人工就消耗小可能这么大一个平台只要六个人
and an important cooperation platform for the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. Nanxia is a Zimao city, also a state's capital. Then our policy coordination, which is especially like Rongzi, this and also technical support, people's support, this kind of coordination and cooperation, we are doing this kind of cooperation and cooperation. I hope that we can make the city of Nanxia a very strong and strong city to make the weapons production. 育种中心，还有我们的整个融资的一个平台。October is harvest season, and the owners of this crab farm are busy. They put out the cages in the crab ponds, starting at first light to catch mud crabs. Nansha, which used to be a small fishing village that relied on the sea generations, is now using innovative technologies to create famous seafood brands like Nansha Mud Crab. 係啊，本地苗一行碳水啊嘛，好食啊嘛，個個打出一個品牌係好食。哦，苗好啊，水質又好，水質又好。Nansha has a dense network of waterways and interconnected lakes. It has 302 inland rivers that cover an area of 803 square kilometers, accounting for more than one third of its total area. Coastal fish ponds are located where salt water and fresh water meet. Which makes the fish raised in them taste even more delicious than those raised in pure fresh water. Brackish water aquaculture is limited by geographic and seasonal factors, but with the development of modern breeding technology, Nansha is currently researching the development of high-quality fish, shrimp, and crab fry that maximize the advantages of brackish water. The core of ocean farming is the seed industry. Scientists focusing on ocean farming often say that the seed industry is like the computer chip of ocean farming. 人工培育的呢，我们最大的好处是，第一个，我们的那个品质是可以控制的；第二个，我们培养的环境是可以控制的。环境可以控制，我们就可以规模化的生产，可以把这个推广出去。Josh, do you know what pre-cooked dishes are? Yeah, so as you know, I'm a pretty good cook myself. Um, Pre-cooked dishes, as they exist in China right now, are actually ready-made dishes that are flash frozen, right? So no preservatives, and then you just heat them up and eat them. Wow, it sounds very convenient for people like me who don't really know how to cook. As ocean farming develops in Nansha, it's also exploring new types of pre-cooked dishes that suit the different tastes of consumers in eastern and western China. However, one thing that concerns people is that pre-cooked dishes may contain preservatives, which are not healthy for humans. To tackle this problem, people in Nansha are using the low-temperature sterilization technology, which keeps food fresh without using any preservatives. 速冻可以在较短的时间内将食品中心温度降到冰点以下，食品快速通过最大的冰晶生存带，可减少营养物质流失，抑制微生物生长，达到良好的速冻锁鲜效果。Nansha will continue to explore preservation techniques for seafood. The cold chain warehousing complex spanning 210,000 square meters in Nansha Port has become a base for cold chain logistics and pre-cooked food trade. Driven by the growth of Nansha District, major companies in the ready-to-eat food industry have been working together to create a comprehensive supply chain for high-quality foods, a complete industrial value chain, an efficient and convenient logistical services network, and a sustainable market demand, which has made Nansha a center for the import and export of ready-to-eat foods and produced massive economic benefits. Ocean farming has become a spotlight in the reform and opening up process of Nansha District. We are expecting to witness Nansha District's further exploration and dedication to the ocean economy and the reform and opening up drive.